Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 17 of my King, Tiger and Bergpanzer diorama build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That would be brill, thank you. In the last episode we masked up the King Tiger, ready to change the colour of the central support. So, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing, crack on and see how it came out. There is always something satisfying about removing the masking tape, did it, didn't it? On this occasion it did, so we should be happy with that. Now that's done, after a clean up of the bench, we can clean up the supports that we used the sprue glue on in the last episode. So, here goes. Okay, that's those cleaned up, ready for priming. Now, what should we do? Ooh, yeah, we can crack on with the medical boxes and get them painted yellow. That's the medical boxes painted. If you saw with the cut, I'd only painted three of the four boxes and for some reason I started to fart around with the hull. I didn't show you that, but it's just what I recorded. For no apparent reason. Anyway, forget that. It's time to get the car key out and paint the ammo patches up. So, let's crack on. Right, the ammo pouches have their khaki coats on. While they dry, let's do a bit of dry brushing. These are containers that go on the floor of the hull and need a bit of dirtying up. So let's get these cracked. By the way, I'm using Citadel's dry brushing Necron compound. That's those dry brushed. Now a little bit of test fitting just to see how they look. Well that's looking good. So let's get the little tinkers glued in. Then I noticed it wasn't sitting quite right. So a little fettling with the snips and that resolved that issue. Right, they're now seated properly, so onwards and upwards. Let's do a bit more dry brushing. We can crack on with the floor. There we go! I'm dead impressed I didn't break anything off. 
I feel I went a bit heavy on the dry brushing of the floor. Hopefully I can tone that down with a dark wash. But we'll see. Anyway, now to some touch. Really? Cheap seats? Stop it! Anyway, I noticed that a couple of the torsion bars needed a bit of a clean up. So, let's crack on and get them done. That's those cleaned up. I'm one of these people that if I notice something needs doing, I tend to do it straight away. Otherwise, I forget. It's an age thing. So, back to the dry brushing. Bugger! Better get that glued back in place. <sighs> That's sorted. Now back to the dry brushing. And the gearbox next. That's done. Now a bit of painting. Here I'm doing the steering wheel which is part of the gearbox. Well that's done and guess what? Yep, back to dry brushing. Okay, that's the dry brush finished for the moment. Now on to a bit of Declan. Here we're doing the medical containers. Yes, I know the decal is wonky, but having worked in the military environment, some of them were wonky. So, okay, now on to a Quick bit of painting of part of the exhaust system. Oh, okay, I've finished that. Uh, well, um, okay, let's crack on with some more painting and dry brushing. Then we'll have a go at test fitting the gearbox into the hull. Looking good so far. Well, after a tad bit of fettling, we managed to get that into place. And it does look good. All I did was take off any paint that was on the mated faces and voila, it fits. Shocking that, isn't it? Anyway, let's move on to fanning around with the engine. The one thing I have noticed doing this video is that the left hand wall is cockeyed. So, I need to fix that as well as get the engine straight. So, let's just fanny around a bit with it, shall we?
When I say fanny around, read that as procrastinate. If I'm unsure or worried of doing a certain thing on a model, I'll do anything to avoid it, even start new models. I've Luckily I've got about nine hours of video to edit, that's about three episodes, and there are several parts I need to get done on this model, and I'm procrastinating. It's okay to do that. You need time to think things through and deal with them in your own head. Personally, I tend to overthink things, and this really annoys me as I don't need to, but hey ho. Anyway, back to the modelling. Let's start to fit some more of the internal parts, shall we? Okay, let's leave the lower hull section there for a bit and move on to the upper hull. Let's pop that to one side. So this seems like a good place to end. So thank you for watching episode 17. If you want to see what happens in episode 18, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modeling.